This was Harun two months ago after getting monkeypox. His symptoms were so bad he was admitted to hospital for 11 days. My throat was really infected. The next day, my throat was shut. I wasn't able to drink, I wasn't able to swallow, even I wasn't able to swallow my own spit. It was so painful. I, I, I wasn't able to sleep because of fever and pain in my muscles and I wasn't able to feed myself. It was scary. The lowest moment was actually when the lesion got so big and I could really feel my heartbeat on my, on my face. It was so like I, I was feeling my heart, you know, slowing or fa getting faster every single time in here. London has seen the highest numbers of monkeypox in the country. There's been 2,141 cases so far, and there are hot spots. Southwark has 209, and Lambeth has reported 296 cases. So far, around 25,000 people, mostly gay and bisexual men, have been vaccinated. They're considered most at risk. This was the queue at Black Pride on Sunday of revellers waiting to be vaccinated. But now there's a problem. The vaccination programme has been paused and some appointments cancelled. Experts say that's causing big problems and putting people at risk. Vaccine supplies have, have dropped away completely and that there is no more availability until September. So it's causing a lot of worry amongst gay and bisexual men um, who are waiting for their vaccine and now aren't sure what uh, they need to do in the meantime and when they'll actually be able to get vaccinated. The UK Health Security Agency say there are global issues with supply due to vaccine availability and the necessary time to produce more vaccines. This means the further batch of 100,000 doses which are being made to order will be received later in September. Harun is fully recovered and is calling for Londoners to treat this like COVID by taking precautions and the vaccine when it finally becomes available. We have to look out for the symptoms, especially right now because we run out of vaccine. We, the only way is prevention and prevention is looking out for the symptoms. And if you have fever or the blisters, don't go out, call the sexual health clinic and take the precautions because you may have it very mild, but someone else may have it really severe. And we don't know who is that person. Thomas McGill, BBC London.